That was a long drive. That was a really long drive. It took us nearly 12 hours from Noida to here, but... Worth it, wasn't it? Look at this view. I mean, totally worth it. But hang on a second. Like, this time of the year, we should have been home. Yeah, but Diwali has become about air pollution, noise pollution. Yeah. It's nice to disconnect every once in a while, isn't it? That's absolutely true, but not entirely. Yeah. We've still got India's first connected SUV with us. And as far as Diwali goes, we've got our pataka right here. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely correct. But we've really done this. We've been here yeah. before. So what's well, not next? like this. I mean, not at this time of the year. I'm wondering what's next though. Where do we head? You didn't really see the map, right? When we got into the car. Well, that's what you're about to find out. Okay. Gaza. So, shall we? Yeah. Time away from buzzing devices carefully designed to never let go of our attention has been proven to be essential to our mental and physical well-being. So the need to disconnect and break away from the mundane is crucial to a well-rounded life. So this Diwali, we set out to conquer the evils within. Gaza was our destination and peace is what we were seeking. The scenic mountain roads leading to the Atul Tunnel and revealing the prettiest landscape of Upper Himachal seemed almost like travelling through a portal into another dimension. We were beyond elated. This decision to cut off from the daily hustle to experience the serenity of the mountains was just what we had wished for. And then, snow. It couldn't get any better. It sure couldn't get any better, but it could definitely get worse. And how? We had already begun our journey back, but like the poignant saying goes, sometimes when life closes a door, it opens a window. So that didn't really go according to plan, did it? <laughs> well, plans just sometimes don't, but that's just life, isn't it? Uh, with all the snowstorm yesterday, it would have been stressful going forward and we've come here for peace. But look on the brighter side, it's a bright sunny day today. But we're left without the destination now. You know, now that you mentioned peace, I think I have an idea that'll turn this trip around. Depine stuck to his secret plans, keeping me in the dark about what lay ahead. I was still under the impression that we're possibly heading home, but then as we detoured from Mundi and headed into what looked like the premises of a monastery, I got a hint of what we were going to do. The monastery that I had in mind for our first visit was perhaps one of the most important monasteries in India for the Nyingma sect of Buddhism. Rewalsar Monastery or the Nyingma Gompa was founded by Guru Rinpoche. The monastery itself is relatively new, but it has a deep significance for people of that faith. Beyond the law, the monastery itself has been designed by masters of the various Buddhist art forms from around the world. Just spending some time walking the grounds, and then exploring the three-tiered temple around the monastery had an effect of permeating peace. You weren't expecting this, were you? Not at all. I really wasn't expecting coming to a monastery like this. But how do you feel? I, I honestly feel great and I also feel like this is the start to our journey towards finding solitude. And this is just the start. There's a whole lot more to learn and discover. Let's get in. Divine's secret plan was slowly starting to unravel as Himachal's adventure capital greeted us with even better weather and views. Our 
journey in search of peace had led us to these beautiful architectural masterpieces and it was only fair to appreciate them in depth as we entered the Sering Jong Monastery. Spread over a large campus, this too was a monastery dedicated to the Nyingma sect of Buddhism. A walk through the lush green campus was soothing, set to the sounds of bells resonating from inside the monastery. But what stood out against the blue skies of Bir was the traditional architecture with the pagoda roofs and the golden dragon motifs at the corners. So mesmerizing was the locale that we hadn't even realized that hours had passed. And such was the effect that even Abhik, who up until now had scoffed at the idea of a trip that focused solely around monasteries, now seemed a tad intrigued. Still skeptical about the next monastery visit I had planned, he needed a little bit of a kick in the pants. So, you've got me to another monastery. I mean, honestly, it just looks the same as yesterday's. But Abhik, we were at the monastery yesterday. Tell me honestly, how did it make you feel? Okay, I'll give you this. For whatever little time we spent there, I did feel at peace. And that's the thing about peace. It's an experience and it takes a little work. And that's why we're here today and that's what today's experience is all about. So, the question is, are you ready to find true inner peace? Okay, let's do this. It's hard to put in words what places like this do to the mind, but the phenomenon of feeling better objectively and even rejuvenated is something that everyone who visits these monasteries needs to experience. A look through the Nin Yang Monastery revealed the intricate artwork that adorned the walls. Each mural painted on the wall told a story and we were soon lost in trying to decipher each story that we saw. It seemed like every inch of the monastery captured the mind and imagination and then we experienced something truly magical. We entered the massive prayer space and sat down fully expecting nothing to happen, at least I did. But what happened next was a far cry from what I could have imagined. The peace that surrounded the space washed over us and what I thought would last a few minutes had become almost an hour. No words were spoken, but each of us went on a journey in that time. We found something within ourselves that we had not been in touch with for years, yet it felt as familiar as picking up the phone and calling an old friend. As we drove out of that monastery that day, both Dipayan and I found what we had set out for in our own unique way. So Abhik, hmm? I dragged you out during the valley. We got stuck in a snowstorm and then we had to turn our holiday on its head. Was it worth it? Dude, this was, this was totally worth it. I mean, it's so essential to get out of that daily grind and experience this once in a while. And thanks to you, I got to see a side of Himachal that I honestly didn't know existed. So we did conquer our evil, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So, when it comes to Diwali, that's what it is. It is essentially, yes. So shouldn't we light this pataka up? Oh yeah. <laughs> 